Okay, finally getting a chance to say good morning. I am just driving through Pinecraft right now. I dropped the boys at school and then I dropped off a bag of clothes to consign from a girl that is down here for the winter from Holmes County. She has like an online Instagram thrift store type of thing. She resells clothes. Uh oh, I don't know if I can get through here. They have a truss over. What is going on here? I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> they had a uh, truss laying across the road and they just told me to drive over it. I was not sure I wanted to do that. Living that Pinecraft life here. I am actually on my way to pick up Megan Fox. They are down here right now. Uh, we saw them a couple days ago, Megan and I and our girls, the oldest girls, had gone to the beach and then we took the boat out that night and they came over for dessert. So I haven't seen her since then. We were gone over the weekend, crazy weekend, and now we're back and we still want to hang out a little bit. Little backstory, if you're not familiar with Megan Fox, I'm sure you are if you watch my channel for any amount of time, but if you're not in case. Uh, she is another Mennonite YouTuber and I had been doing YouTube for I'm gonna say a year and a half ish When I found her videos, I think one of her first videos she put up I it, she might have put a few up, but I found her. I was like ah another Mennonite on YouTube I knew like one other girl who had been doing it at the time and so I was thrilled of course I like connected with her some and we DM'd and things we kind of became friends we moved down to Florida that winter or like that Christmas so that winter then they came down for their annual you know Florida trip and we went thrifting and then ever since it's just been an annual tradition that we get together and we've become friends and our husbands have become friends and it's just it's fun so this morning we're gonna go kidless we're going to Anna Maria Island she was trying to figure out what what we could do and I was trying to think of what we could do I said well I, what about we go to Whitney's on Longboat Key and go up Anna Marie Island, just explore a little bit. If we have time for the beach, we'll do that. If not, we'll, we're trying to be home by, I think maybe early afternoon, kind of depends. And she's never been up there, so I decided let's do it. So I, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm about to pick her up and we'll head over there. And we're gonna grab some coffee, I think, at Buddy Brew on the way there. Hey, good morning. Um, uh, so back in yes. I didn't know how much to pack. I was like, I'm not gonna let Jaina make fun of me for packing too much. A beach bag and a oh, purse that one. <laughs> and a shirt on one. Uh, no, I just I brought like a purse and then a beach bag. I was okay. telling them that I'm not sure if we're gonna make it to the beach or not. Yeah, so. I know. It's just anyway. turning out to be really nice already. I know. I know. <laughs> and I, I kind of feel like I do need to be back, but. Yeah, I know. I was like, we'll see. The, the, I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen because, like, I've been on Anna Maria several times, but it is definitely like island life. I mean, I don't even know how many shops will be open or if we'll. Find oh, a lot like of they'll shops. be openly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, there might be some, but like, it's kind of in like different areas. I feel like, and so I'm not sure. Well, I just we'll heard be... that the drive up there is really. Pretty, it is. So. It's very nice, and we can always walk the beach somewhere. So, I think that would be nice know. too. Yeah. Well, are you into coffee? Yes, sure. Okay. <laughs> So with Buddy Brew, you have to park in the parking garage or find a spot right outside, which is very seldom an option. So it's free as long as you're within two hours. So we're gonna dash down and get some. <laughs> My vlogging camera apparently froze up and died or something. I'm hoping it's not actually dead for real, but I don't have an extra battery along. So I'm going to We move. are failing as vloggers. I forgot my extra battery too. So, <laughs> so I'm on my phone again. Maybe we should so. just put down our devices, like my husband says, and just enjoy the day. Yes. Ooh, I wonder, is that my imagination or is this water bigger than back in the stairs? 
could be, but it also depends on the, the maybe the time of the day or how the sun the is. The sun. Oh, that's true. The sky is very much blue. And how shallow it is. It's reflecting the sky. It yeah, always it's always kind of cloudy. Yes, that makes a big difference. I had told Megan I want to stop at the Joa Inn and take a picture. So I follow a lady on Instagram. Uh, her name is Ashley. She has an account, Arrows and Bow. And I actually filmed earlier last year, I filmed something, but they have an inn that they well it used to be like an old like old style motel i think and they made it into a beautiful like four four apartment or like four room thing and completely late redid it they actually had an episode on i think it was hgtv or something uh one of their like hotel type things and it's such a cool thing and anyway i just wanted to come take a little picture they live here on the island too so so that's the area where like the, the apartments are in. And then I think they have like a main, I don't know, it's a lounge hangout area and they have a pool somewhere. So really cool. So this is actually the entrances to some of them themselves right here. Okay, we made it to Whitney's. It looks actually really empty and it's so pretty here. Oh, I we tried to come here earlier this spring. It didn't, we never actually ate here. So I'm excited to actually eat here. And it's the perfect temperature. So yeah, we're having good conversations, just chatting like we normally do. And uh, yeah, we're having a good time. this amazing looking drink menu like everything looks so good so I asked him what does he recommend that's good like in a virgin because you know sometimes they don't really translate he said get the Sarah soda you can put it on the screen how they spell it it's so cute um it was like a funny pun yeah it's like something grapefruity I think I just went basic and got a coke hey can't go wrong <laughs> dropped Megan off and I'm headed home. Nick has been with the girls this morning so I'll go relieve him of that. <laughs> no. Okay my camera does work after all. Oh what's going on? Something's wrong. My batteries just keep acting like they're dead. I'm not sure what is wrong with my other camera. So I've got two like this vlogging cameras thankfully. The other one it just like dies with new batteries so it may be on its last leg. So anyway, I thought I would, I'm home obviously, as you can tell, but I thought I would do an impromptu little clothing haul. I haven't really done one in a long time and I think most of this stuff can be linked. So uh, this one obviously is what I had on today. Uh, it is from Grace and Joy Co. It's in Holmes County. I picked it up when I was up there and I do feel like it has shrank it just a little bit. I generally don't like dry it, but I'm now seeing that, like you can see the lining underneath is pretty close. However, I love it. It's so feminine and pretty. It's like a blue, dusty blue, and it's a midi length. So it's really pretty. And I found some things at Walmart the other day. Obviously the sweater does not go with the dress, but <laughs> But I thought I would show it before I like take off the dress. This is the Time and True brand. It's a size small. And this one was $17.98. And they have other colors as well. So I thought I would just share this with you. Also got a black sweater. And now that I'm like looking at it here at home. I had gotten it because I thought I might need it possibly for a funeral. But I also had, I just don't have like a lot of black cardigans. And so... I do still have the tags attached. I may return it or I may just keep it. It was $14.98. But it's just a very basic black one. Has a slit here. Um, it's just really affordable in other words. So, okay, I've got another midi dress. This one is from Walmart as well and has like gathers around the bottom. I did not iron it, so 
please excuse that. I do, I was thinking of wearing it today and then I didn't, but it has the tag still attached. And this one is $22. It's the Beach Lunch Lounge brand. So I thought that one was a fun one. And next I have a super dressy feminine maxi dress. And this is like a teal color. I also have not ironed it yet because I haven't worn it. I was gonna wear it to my husband's Christmas banquet thing. It was after Christmas, but we ended up not being able to go. And so, I don't know, I just really like this. It's so dressy and it's just, it's flattering. It's got a nice like V-neck. I don't think I'd need to wear anything underneath, which is great. This one comes from Main Street Exchange, which I get a lot of clothes, well, quite a few clothes from them, like skirts and things like that. And so it's, you know, a bit more on the pricey end of things, but it is something that could, you know, last for years. It's something that's perfect for, you know, dressy occasions or even just Sundays or whatever, date night. So I'm happy to have this. It's got like a butterfly sleeve, which is fun. Next, I've got another top that I got from Main Street, and it's this white and blue blouse. It's got a pocket here, it is lined. It's got a bit of a maybe wider cutout neck, but still not like low, so that's nice. And I've had this skirt for actually a long time, but it is one of their skirts as well. So there'd be two pieces from them as well. I have worn this one in a previous video, so if you watched my hosting prep video, you would have seen it, but I've been wearing it like <laughs> really often already. It's very comfortable. This is from Amazon, and it's it's kind of like a linen look, but I don't think it's truly linen, and it was pretty affordable. I definitely just wash it and let it air dry. It has a belt, so you could take it off if you want to. It has like an elastic waist, and again, it's a midi length. And it's just a really pretty kind of, I don't know, brighter dusty blue, I guess. So this one was fun. And then lastly is this slightly oversized sweater and it's an extra small, so it stretches. It's from Target, but it's just a nice neutral cream and it has more of your waffle detailing, uh, no buttons. And it's just one of those staple pieces does I feel like once if you dry it it kind of shrinks and then it'll keep stretching back out so definitely size down I would say um, and then I will probably get questions on my sandals these are also Amazon I had purchased them last year sometime I forget and they're really comfortable actually so I'll try to link what I can in the description box for you guys and hopefully it's helpful so there's my haul. Um, it's not like I just bought it all recently. Some of it was like last fall, uh, but I'm slowly trying to kind of build it up. I kind of weeded, I weeded out quite a few clothes, maybe things that I had uh, postpartum that were are now like too big or maybe some that were too small, things like that. So I'm trying to be conscious about what I bring into my closet. I feel like I need more like in between dresses. So I have some more dressier things, but not as much your, your everyday things that I would tend to wear. So I'll wear a lot of t-shirts and stuff, but sometimes that gets old and I'd prefer dresses. I like dresses and I just feel like they're feminine and modest. It's what I grew up wearing is like full length dresses. It's easy. It's just like one piece and you're done, you know, but it can be hard to find those, especially if you don't like sew yourself. I used to sew. I just don't really anymore. I don't make time for it and stuff. So anyway, I'll link it below if you guys are looking for things. Are you still tired? What'd you do with dad today? I think he's not here. Nope, dad left to get the boys and do a showing. She wants to come back to our house? Yeah, he'll come back. Did you play with Harper this morning? Mm-hmm, was Harper a good girl? Is Harper up? What? Is Harper up? Nope, Harper's still in bed. Mm-hmm. Your hair's getting so long. Got part of it back in a ponytail yet. I was actually filming the ending of a organization video, so that's why I'm in the closet currently. I'm having to wake her up from her naps. I'm not allowing her to sleep very long anymore because it was affecting her, her, 
nighttime sleep. So maybe not wanting to settle down at night or waking up more. Cause she would generally take like three hour naps, no joke. However, it's just, it was becoming a problem. And especially with having the two girls in the same room can be interesting enough. So yeah, I'm having her just take shorter afternoon naps, maybe hour or two hours max. So I woke her up again today. The boys are home from school. Boo yeah! Boo yeah! Hey! Hey! Hi! Who woke up? Are you so happy to see me? Her little fingers. Oh, I need to trim them again, but that barely makes a difference. She claws like no other. Jackie. Yeah, she loves looking at herself. You're so fun. Yeah. So we're having a very informal supper. I made Sloppy Joe's. It was actually Megan's suggestion today, so I decided, ah, that would work. Easy cleanup, fairly simple. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close out the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed tagging along today. It was just a somewhat normal day in my life, although not really because it's not every day that Megan is around. So we enjoyed it, had fun. Make sure you go check out her video. I'm not sure at this point when she's gonna be posting hers, but she's doing like a Florida vlog. So you'll see like a couple minutes in her video. And yeah, subscribe if you're new, I'd love that. I am getting ready to take a shower and retire for the night, do some editing and wake up for another day tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a very blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.